YouTube, it's Shania. In today's video, we're gonna be customizing my iPad home screen. If you guys are interested in anything regarding your wallpaper, creating your own app icons, as well as creating widgets to put on your home screen, definitely stay tuned because it's all gonna be included in this video. So to kick it off, apps that I'm going to be using in this video are Top Widget, Widget Smith, Color Widgets, Pinterest, I am for affirmations and motivational quotes, shortcuts, reminders, and there's an honorable mention for MV Vinyl. The reason why I said honorable is because you gotta pay for it. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I'm not that girl that is gonna try to squeeze in all these things for you guys to pay for. Trust me, I don't like to pay my coin for these apps either, especially for the slightest little details, cute effects that they be given they should have gave for free. But we're not gonna talk about that. But it's an honorable mention because I think it's worth it and I'm gonna show you why. Now this is the part where you're gonna remove all the unnecessary clutter. Any apps or widgets or anything that you just simply don't want in your finished product, this is where you're gonna actually take that out. So to edit your home screen, you're gonna simply hold down on the screen until you enter the editing mode. Your app icons will begin to shake. That's how you know you're in your editing mode. And then you're simply just going to take that minus sign next to each app or widget and you're gonna click on that to remove anything that you don't want or simply remove it from the home screen if you don't wanna remove it from the device entirely. So once you've done that, that's pretty much gonna clear up all the unnecessary things that you don't really need to have in your way while you're working on this. And of course, as you can see, mine still has a lot of apps on here that simply makes it look a little cluttered. But these are the apps that I'm gonna keep on my screen and I'm gonna show you how to minimize it and make it look a little less messy because it's looking a little messy. I'm gonna show you how to fix all of that, so don't worry. So the next step is choosing a wallpaper. This is where I use Pinterest. I was kind of going for the clean, soft girl aesthetic, minimalist, so I went with the white. I do understand that you know a lot of other people like the vibrant colored backgrounds, the ones that kind of match their device or match the case that they have. If you like those, feel free to use those. I personally just couldn't find one that fit my aesthetic, so I just went with the soft girl, you know, neutral white toned background but the only tip i do have for whatever wallpaper you choose make sure that it's 4k or hd quality it'll just look so much better if you just have better quality now i always like to set the wallpaper in vertical stance simply because when i do it on the horizontal way it always seems like it zooms in the image too much and it doesn't let you actually zoom out far enough so I always click use wallpaper when it's in vertical mode. As you can see, you can see a lot more of the screen here. And pretty much now I'm gonna rotate it that way. It looks a lot better. I'm only gonna click set home screen simply because my lock screen is my vision board. If you guys wanna know how to create a vision board or wanna see how I created mine, I have a video up on my channel about it. But um, yeah, we're not changing that. We're only changing the home screen, so. Same process though. So this is pretty much what it's looking like now. As you can see, it has that nice aesthetic white background. If you don't like that look, pick something else. You know, it's, it's whatever you like, it's your world. Now this is going to be when you begin creating your widget. So to create a widget, I'm gonna be using Widget Smith. I'm gonna open Widget Smith. And as you can see, they have small, medium, large, extra large. And I'm not using the premium features because so I'm gonna add some small, some medium, a large. Now you can see I already have some on here. Um, I'm probably gonna be using some of those, so yeah. You can choose a photo or photos in album if you wanna show multiple photos. If you only wanna show a single photo, of course, just click photo. And then you're gonna go to photo. If you click the photos and album, you're gonna click album. But I'm gonna use photo, so I'm gonna do that. You're gonna click choose from photos and i did not download them from pinterest wow totally unprepared so now i'm gonna go on pinterest i created a board for this as well so i wouldn't have to really do all of this extra stuff so to so download an image of course click the three dots click download image and that's how you download an image and then it'll say image download it and it'll send it to your device's photo library three dots download image so now we're gonna go back into Widget Smith. We're gonna click the size widget that we like to add. We're gonna click photos, choose from photos, select the photo that I want. I'm resizing it to my desired position. Then I'm renaming it by clicking settings at the top middle, crossing it out and typing in a name that I can identify it by, then clicking save. Same thing again, photo, choose from photos, reposition the photo, rename it, then click save. 
So now that we've created those, I opened up top widgets and this is where I get the bigger widget on my screen that combines a lot of the different ones most people use on their home screen. Um, this is a vertical app, so that's why I had to change the orientation, but you guys can pick whichever one you want and you could pretty much change the overall style of it. You could change the border. You can customize the pictures that you see on there as well. And then you would just simply add it as a widget like you did everything else. Click top widgets, extra large. Then you're going to select the one that you created. So now I'm going to show you about MD Vinyl. I know this looks a mess. I know. Give me time. Okay. I'm very picky. Um, <clears throat> you're going to find MD Vinyl on here, wherever the heck I put it. There we go. And literally, you're going to link it to your Spotify or whatever the case is. And then you're simply going to add it to your screen. Now, the reason why I pay for this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Oh, my God. I'm gonna play a song. I don't know. We're just gonna pick something here. Uh... And it spins the record! And when you pause it, of course, it stops the record. So to begin creating your custom app icons, you're gonna go into shortcuts. You're gonna go to my shortcuts. You're gonna click the plus sign to add a new shortcut. You're gonna type in the search bar, show notification, click on that. And then you're just gonna click back or save. So now you're gonna create another shortcut. You're gonna click that plus sign, select open app from the right options menu, click on app. Then you're gonna scroll to find the one that you're looking for, or you can simply type it in. I'm using messages. So now you're gonna type in the search bar, run shortcut. The shortcut that you're gonna run is show notification. Then you're simply gonna select it and then move that tab above the other. Now you're gonna click the share icon and you're gonna click add to home screen. You can change the icon by clicking on it. You select the photo. This is a photo that I made that I'm gonna use. Then you simply swap out the name for whatever you want to call this shortcut and you click add. Now you're going to go to your home screen and open up that shortcut. You're going to click allow on the banner that pops up. Then you're going to go into settings. You're going to go to your screen time. You're going to go to show all activity and you're going to want to select week versus day. And then you're going to scroll down and find the shortcuts tab and you're going to toggle off your allow notifications. Now this is not a foolproof way, but it will reduce the amount of times you see that banner pop up. Then you're going to remove the actual app from the screen and replace it with the shortcut and custom icon you created. Now I'm just speeding through me creating the rest of the shortcuts for the apps that I will be creating. Here is the finished product. This is that larger widget that pretty much combines all those other smaller widgets to have on your screen, like your storage capacity. Yes, mine is extremely low because I'm currently editing content. So once it's on there, that'll be cleared out. You have your calendar, the temperature, you have your screen brightness, you have like a little picture to show whose iPad it is. I put the little guinea pig, I thought it was so cute. Battery percentage, the time. It has the M1 chip because this iPad Air has a M1 chip. It also has a little space for you to put a custom image. And then it just has hello in multiple different languages, but I think it's pretty cool. And of course you have the little vinyl that I was showing you guys. I think it is so adorable. You can see it spinning right here. I have my other apps on here. I have my app store at the top, my FaceTime, and of course my Bible app, I have my streaming apps netflix hulu paramount plus disney plus tubi if you're sleeping on tubi i don't know what to tell you maybe having them good movies and shows that the other ones don't have then i have my social media tiktok instagram twitter i have it linked in the description box if you want any of those then i have the reminders app on the second page and i don't have any reminders so it's empty i have my camera photos and then i have this uh folder with all my school apps and then for my editing i use this one for youtube like i'm using right now i'm gonna rearrange the order of these but that's pretty much the entire thing it's only two pages now i'm gonna actually uh clear these two off so that's the one thing also when you create these shortcuts when you open the shortcut the app is gonna open on this side it's gonna show on this side but it's good for aesthetics if you don't really use those very much or if you just don't mind clearing those off every so often yeah that's pretty much it
so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um comment down below your favorite part things that you liked um things that you think you'll try comment any ideas you have for this channel and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already i'll see you guys in my next one thanks for watching